Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Faye, the new big bad disease that everybody's talking about in cereals is stripe rust. How do we identify stripe rust? How do we even know if we even have it? Well, you have to get out and scout your crops and take a close look. Um, we, we know that we have leaf spots across um, Western Canada. Leaf spot to complex diseases are very common in our crops, so um, we have to be able to tell the difference between the leaf spotting pathogens and the stripe rust because although at certain points we, our management approach might be similar, um, we know that stripe rust might have the potential to be a little bit more aggressive or have a bit wider window of opportunity to spray. So it's important to know whether or not we're dealing with a leaf spotting disease or stripe rust or another type of rust. So one of the first things to think about is when we're looking at the plants, you know, taking a close look at the leaves, seeing um, what type of symptoms that we have there. And the difference between a leaf spotting pathogen and a stripe rust or any type of rust is that rust produce pustules, um, whereas the leaf spotting pathogens produce lesions. And so when you're looking at the, the markings that you have on your, on your plant, um, to be able to tell the difference, a lesion is really the discoloration of the leaf itself. And um, that is because the leaf in that point is dying or it's turning yellow, it's reacting in some way to the pathogen. And with those type of pathogens, they will um, basically kill the plant pretty quickly because that's um, the way that they survive. Whereas with the rusts, they need to keep the plant alive a bit longer. And so the, co the discoloration that you see on the plant is not immediately the plant dying. Um, the color that you see is actually the pathogen itself. So a pustule is the spores themselves um, forming um, more, they'll be more raised on the leaf and when you're looking at that um, spot if it can rub off and you see that rust color on your fingers then you know that that's a pustule and that is striped rust whereas a lesion caused by a leaf spotting pathogen will never be able to rub off. Um, something else to consider is if it's a physiological leaf spot or if there's some type of physical damage on the plant of course that won't be able to rub off either so that would be more similar to a leaf spot and um, you just have to be able to differentiate as well if it's a, a pathogen or if it's some other type of physical damage but with the stripe rust itself will it rub off is it a pustule then it's a type of rust is there a certain color that we're looking for with stripe rust yeah so once we've figured out that we think it's a pustule and we think it's some type of rust um, then we're looking at the differences in the those spore colors and the different types of rust produced a, a different color so is it stripe rust? Stripe rust will be um, first of all in a line on the leaf that's why it's called stripe rust is because the pustules will form um, in a line in, in, in parallel to the leaf veins and the color will be kind of a, a yellowish orange color um, with leaf rust, it's um, a little bit hard to tell, but the color is probably a little bit more orange, in my opinion. And of course, with leaf rust, it won't be forming in that stripe formation. It'll be, those pustules will be kind of randomly distributed on the leaf. And the color, if you see them side by side, um, th there is that, that bit of a difference there. If it's stem rust, um, I think it's a bit more of a dramatic difference where it's a, a darker, more typical rust color and um, you will also be able to see the lesions kind of more scattered on the leaf similar to the leaf rust but with the stripe rust it's the color and it's also that um, forming the stripe itself on the leaf. There's a lot of attention being given to stripe rust right now is that because it has a higher level of detrimental effects or it's just because it's new? Uh, I would say both. Um, it's not necessarily a new disease we know that we that it has occurred and it occurs quite regularly and parts of the United States um, and it has occurred over the last number of years um, sometimes in Canada and perhaps why it's becoming more there's more awareness about it um, more recently we had quite a bit of stripe rust last year in 2011 so we knew that there was more of it showing up then but even if we look over the last number of years it has been um, probably increasing in general as well as some awareness for plant breeders that they should be looking at some possible um, new sources of resistance to try to make sure that we can stay one step ahead of the pathogen um, because the po pathogen populations could potentially change um, to accommodate different weather conditions or um, in Saskatchewan we could be somewhere in, in between where there's perhaps a different pathogen population in Alberta than what's in Manitoba. So 
we're really at the stage where we need to learn more about it and the researchers are closely looking at this disease in Saskatchewan to figure out what type of pathogen population we have here, what's the real risk, and then incorporating that into new breeding materials. So all um, new wheat varieties by 2017 will have to have some type of striped rust um, ratings or resistance built in. So now that I've identified whether I have striped rust or not, how do I manage it? Well, you can use fungicides. There are fungicides that are registered for striped rust. So take a look at your guide to crop protection or your different fungicide options and check the label to see if it's registered for striped rust. And then typically the timing will be similar to our leaf spots. But as I mentioned earlier, there could be a little bit wider window of opportunity to spray just because um, the disease does have that potential to be um, a little bit more able to cause some yield damage there so maybe a little bit later where it can still cause damage because it can spread to the heads whereas we don't usually have uh, much of a problem with leaf spots in, in terms of that so um, using a fungicide application if you see a significant amount of stripe rust especially as you're approaching your flag leaf stage and if you have good kind of cool wet conditions for spread and for increase of the disease really be um, considering a fungicide application there